Hello everybody, it's Lanon, and today we're going to take a look at my custom LEGO Land Wild, Wildland Fire Tanker. This is inspired by the by Bulldog's Wildland Tankers, which are by the way the boss if you want to go check them out. By the way, I consider this model to be a test run for a project I'm working on, not really a final preliminary, preliminary and it's not going to probably be my layout for very long. I can't guarantee how long it will last, but for now, it's here, so I'm going to show it to you guys. Let's go ahead and let's do that. Overall, this beast looks really nice in my opinion, but to me, the front really does look the best. It really just is that brush cage right around here. All this brush cage really is what does it for me in becoming the probably the best feature. By the way, in terms of the color scheme for people who are wondering, it is designed specifically for a county wildland fire department. At least as of right now, that's what the color scheme is designed to be for. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the front bumper though, because there's some pretty cool details up there. The front bumper is kind of interesting of, of a build. My favorite part has to be honestly these little lights that I was able to embed into the bumper that actually look really nice. Overall though we do have some other functionalities, for example these one by one light bluish gray round plates are actually dowser sprinklers, they'll spray water on the ground to help take care of hot spots. There's also this remote controlled monitor right here, which is kind of hard to work with, as you can see that plate is flexing. But it is posable if you're careful with it. But for the most part, I just kind of leave it up front here. But then there's also this winch, which can be picked up. And if I'm careful, because of how this grill is designed, as you can see, if I hold that down, I can pull it out. So now, if I go to a side view, on the side of here, there's this Technic axle sticking out. And while it's a bit annoying, we can turn it turn it because this is really awkward for me let me try this a little differently there we go it's a little better we could turn this and drag the winch in like so it does start to hurt your fingers after a while that's, that's the one downfall of it the rear section of the tanker is something I really like and it's got a lot of really cool details on it and we'll go ahead and we'll start here in this middle section and here we have a midline a little mid deck and up in there we have there is a Hose reel hanging out in the bottom, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a hose reel down in there, and there's also some, some gauges hanging out right there. And these ladders in the sides fold down like so, so they provide side access to get up in, and then when they fold up, they provide side railings to help keep the pe person in there, help keep them more secure and stuff. Then we can also move along to the sides of the tank here, we got some other important details. Um, you have these sight lights which can be pushed up and they can be rotated, stuff like that. Those are nice little extra fun things. These are input output valves and then also these are hazmat containment vessels which can actually come off but they kind of look cool. This probably has to be the more interesting area again of the model, just what's going on back here. And Wow, again I am not centered on frame. I'll try that. One of the interesting features is this fold up rear bumper. On, you can see I'm bringing up and down. It doesn't, goes down there max and that can be folded up so there's a little bit better rear ground clearance. With the rear design it's not as efficient but the truck I modeled after does have that feature. Again we also have the ladders I can carefully fold down and these ones you have to be kind of careful with because the connections are kind of weak but they do work. And then I got some lights again on the rear here for firefighting and if I carefully kind of lift these down I can lift this section up and you can see there is a hose reel in here so we have a secondary hose reel specifically for firefighting this is just a brush cover to help keep it protected from the elements and everything else and yeah that's pretty much the back we can now go back to the other side and we'll take a quick look at one last little detail that I haven't seen yet you have not seen yet moving from the back to the side here repeated details for the most part but these represent equipment drawers again not functional they were thrown on after the fact but they are on here and that's pretty much about it well that's my custom Lego Wildland Tanker truck. All I can say is, again, I'm very happy with the model. Maybe a little large in scale for me, but it, it still looks really nice. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like if you like, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Have any thoughts? Well, don't forget to put a comment down in this comment section below. Thanks again, and happy building!